Okay, so first we're gonna look at can a continuous function from 1D to 2D be onto? Okay, so what's a continuous function? Well, in this case, it's basically just a scribble that you can write on the coordinate plane without picking up your pencil. You're allowed to make loops and cross over yourself, and you can use as long of a line as you want. Okay, so onto in this context basically means can you scribble the entire plane without picking up your pencil? Yeah, and so this is a really interesting question because lines and points and dots in math don't actually have width. They're infinitely thin. So we are trying to use the number line to fill the coordinate plane. Okay, so first we're gonna look at the easier example of can the line segment fill the square. We're gonna fill up the square by drawing these boxy little curves that get more and more detailed as we draw them. We never pick up our pencil, but we are allowed to cross over ourselves. Now, none of these functions individually are onto because there are gaps in between the lines. However, as we take the limit, we see that all points eventually get crossed by a line. So, as the limit goes to infinity, we get a function that turns the line segment into a full square. And what this means is that we can draw a square starting at one point and ending at another. So now we're going to think about the infinite case of using a number line to fill the entire coordinate plane. And how we're going to do this is essentially start with drawing one curve and then connecting it to a larger curve and then connecting it to an even larger curve. And yeah, we use an infinite number of curves to do this, but our input is now infinitely long. So what we end up doing is covering the entire plane with the input. So now we're going to ask the same question but in 3D. Can we basically squiggle a line through 3D space to fill a cube? And it turns out we can, using basically the exact same mechanic we did last time of drawing more and more detailed versions of what we started with. We essentially define a sequence of these things and take a limit to get our onto continuous function. Now. Does there exist a continuous function from 2D to 3D? Our intuition might be yes, because there exists a continuous function from 1D to 3D. So how are we gonna construct one from 2D to 3D? So visually, we can turn the line into a cube, but we're asking if we can turn the plane into the cube. So we're gonna turn the plane into a cube by first turning the plane into a line continuously, and then turning the line into a cube. And this process of doing one thing and then another is called composition, and it gives us a perfectly legitimate function of turning the plane into a cube. So we've done it. We have a continuous function that's on to from 2D to 3D. But what is even more interesting is the fact that there does not exist a continuous function from 2D to 3D that is both one to one and on to. In our context, this essentially means that you cannot scribble and fill in the square without crossing over yourself which is a really surprising fact. That means somewhere in our construction, our lines crossed over themselves. To see why this is the case and how it's connected to donuts and coffee mugs, please subscribe. Thank you.